Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We've been having a number of people coming in with issues regarding their low back. And uh, what we're finding with these folks, they're starting to get spasm and irritation in through their low back, uh, uh, typically from twisting type of movements. And like again, we, we, we talk about this a lot and how we sit, um, uh, a lot of our time most of the day is sitting. So the muscles of the low back um, are always in this chronically having to figure out when we're seated having to figure out uh, to keep that area stable so over time they start to spasm out get trigger points in there but what the muscle that we're talking about in this particular uh, instance is the quadratus lumborum it's a muscle that spans from the last rib your 12th rib to the ilium your hip bone so it kind of spans from here down to that ilium and some people in some cases they call this the hip bone so right in through here and it gets spasmed down and gets tight typically one side versus another because of a lot of you know shoveling or raking that type of thing so it gets really really tight and you get that low back spasm through there so here's an easy uh, fix to get relief from that spasmed out quadratus lumborum what you do is you sit Indian style um, if you can't sit Indian style you know you can sit like this you can you can sit with your legs like this but ideally you want to sit Indian style where you can tack down the hip one side of the hip so if I'm if I'm having problems with my right side here I will tack down this right hip with this and I'm going to go into a little bit of flexion. So now this is lumbar flexion. A little bit of flexion in through here. And I'm going to go away from the side, involved side. Right in through here, just like this. So a little bit of flexion, and I'm moving away from the right side. If I'm having problems with my right side, I'm going to be leaning toward the left. With a little bit of lumbar flexion and leaning toward the left. Again, the front view is here. So if I'm having problems with my right side over here, I'm going to go a little bit into flexion, and then I'm going to lean away from the right side to stretch that out, leaning away from it. You can even make more of a stretch by bringing your rib cage up right here, get that lat up and through there, and then bringing that arm up. And don't forget to breathe. Nice and easy. Again, you're doing this to your tolerance. You don't want to sit here in, in extreme pain doing this. And if you're having a problem with that quadratus lumborum, that QL muscle, this can be very, very discomforting for you. So again, you're gonna be doing a little bit of flexion. So here, so you're gonna flex a little bit through there to your comfort level, and then you're gonna lean away from that involved side to get that stretch. And the reason why you're tacking down this right hip, you want this right hip to stay down. If you need to, you can push down on the, this part of your thigh, push down on it, and go in here. Again, you can even raise your arm to get more of a stretch, get some of that lat in there too. So that's a really great way to get that quadratus lumborum. Another way you can uh, get it as well, and you could add this to the, uh, this uh, exercise, if you will, or stretching technique, you can add these at the end, is again, you're sitting, if it's the involved side, it's the right side, you're tacking it down with your left foot, and then you're gonna lean forward, you're gonna go into a slight flexion, right, and you're gonna kinda do a windmill, so you're gonna take, if this is my right side, this is my right side, this is the involved side, so I'm gonna go into a little bit of flexion here, and then I'm gonna, reach up just like that and I can even go the other way just like that so you're kind of doing a windmill so here reaching up if you need to if you can't reach up and that's a little discomforting for you you can just flex forward here's the side view so you're gonna flex forward low below lumbar forward just like this and then you can use your Use these as stabilizers to pull yourself and get that pull in here. A little twist. 
So now you're in flexion with a little bit of rotation to ease up that quadratus lumborum. So again, flexion, and then you're going to rotate toward the involved side. See that? The involved side here. You can push off with your hand, get a little rotation. Or you can do a full-on windmill and bring your arm up and get some rotation that way. So, those are two easy ways to help alleviate some of that spasm in through the quadratus lumborum. We get that a lot since we simply because we sit way too much. And uh, sometimes, you know, you could be doing here out there, you know, it is uh, sometimes, depending on the time of year, you're raking, you're, you're shoveling, or whatever it may be, whatever activity you're doing, and you just a one-sided kind of twisty motion like this, and that QL seizes up on you. So, if you have any questions, drop them off in this comment section below. We thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that, hit that bell notifications button. That way you don't miss any uh, videos coming down here in the future. Again, we thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.